Hey guys, this is Vaga Bond Spray Monster Sunny. Nice to see you again. Today I'm gonna show you how to paint three kinds of waterfalls. You've done mountain before, right? Today you run this and you'll be able to oh, you'll be able to create a more natural looking very easy. No brush because I don't like this. This brain and give some magical effects. Just follow me. Okay, today I'm gonna use a bit simple ones. Black and white, transparent, uh, clear, clear coat, red, blue, and purple. Okay. And uh, we're gonna use the, uh, this paper, uh, the same as this one, like you tiered for making shooting star paper. Okay. A little piece. And plate. Uh, it's like a bit bigger than like this big uh, spray paint bottle. Only one. And spatula. And ruler. Okay. Okay, let's start. Place the plate run here and then uh, this lower half uh, <laughs> lower half blue like this and purple it's gonna be the color for rocks and upper half is blue and red and white wash okay you give some texture light and shallow Perfect. But if you feel hard, you don't need to give shadow, only light is enough. Like this. And cover all with black. Give some shooting stars. And open. All right. So we're gonna have rocks around here. Okay. The sliding technique. Yep. Like this. And first uh, water fold. Fold this paper. Okay. And then tear. Just like thumb. Just thumb size. Maybe like this. Okay. And then spray white on the paper. And dip. And tap. Tap. This is like draw on. To the rocks. And inside. Okay. If you change angle, the width will change. Like this. And put ruler over here on the bottom. And purple. Blue and give some red. This red is because 
this planet has a little bit red, right? So this is gonna be the reflection of the planet. But, but this looks mostly blue, but as we use blue for water, so we just use red for the reflection, okay? Then uh, maybe a little more. Then black, a bit. And it's lighting. So waterfall is coming from here. So don't leave too much black on this, okay? But water is like this, uh, like this, and then rock is like, like this. So if you have black over here, okay, and can you see this? Water, rock, and black is over here. It's kind of weird, right? So don't leave black a lot. Only a little bit. I mean, you don't need to leave black any. Okay, then, uh, then you just use this, fold the magazine paper three times, okay, and spray on here, and place and slide it down. So because this water is like coming beyond this rock, right? Like this. So we don't want to put water like here in the middle, okay? On the rocks, like this, okay? And put the ruler. Red at the corner, the purple, and now we're gonna have some rocks, especially this tip, it's kind of unnatural. So we just add some rocks. Okay, just like this. And kind of hide the edge. And you can even add some in the middle if you want. You can just play with the spatula. Some on the bottom. Like this, some in the middle, All right? Okay, for the last one, so blue. Oh. And some little red, red for the reflection and you see this okay. white and slightly black and red and you can use this 
uh, paper. This one we use, so we, we're gonna use that behind, okay? The other side. And then wet, make it wet enough. And then put this paper and slide towards bottom. Okay. If the surface is not really wet enough, just spray a lot clear coat. Okay? And it can make like water flow falling. But if you if you like do too much and make it unnatural, like this line, you can just spray and slide your finger between blue and water fall okay like this it looks nice huh then add some white on the bottom to show uh, like splash the falling water over here then some black and white as usual add some rocks and have a little more perspectives Right, can you see the difference? Okay. And if you want, you can add some more highlights on here too. Okay. Just like this, some small ones or big ones, just as you want, play with it. Okay. Like this. Okay, it's almost done. So we're gonna add some splash. It's not finished yet. Okay. Put ruler and on the edge like between water and rock. Okay. Then A little. Okay. okay, you don't need to, you don't need really act, uh, accurately put on here. You can just move. I mean, you can just uh, change the place where the water is dropping. Okay, but don't do on the rock because you see it's still this much rock, and then. You have, if you have splash over here, it's kind of weird, right? So let's go next. Some small ones over here. Okay. So you can just move like here. Okay. So we can have some perspectives, right? And then the spray amount is like always fixed. You cannot really control how much you spray, right? So if you spray on the same line here, it can be the it can be the like same as this one. So you cannot make difference. So you can just spray a little bit here, 
and then next over here All right just like this then sign finish how is it Right, how was it? To the Rika, right? Today I don't especially have tips though. Uh, maybe I can say uh, be careful of giving unnecessary lines. If you like give too much pressure with paper, you have lines. I see on the tip. Okay. Lines of paper. Don't give too much pressure. Okay. By the way, uh, don't follow this, okay? Uh, I just showed how to paint, how to do that. So create your own artwork with this idea. Okay? Alright, thank you for watching. I hope you like it. If you like this video, thumbs up, share with your friends, and subscribe this channel please. Sometimes I do live streaming. You can see the newest technique or expression that I only show on live streaming. So if you subscribe this channel, you'll get notifications. Miss it and don't miss it. And also my Twitter and Instagram accounts are below. Follow me and you'll see my other amazing posts. Hey, thanks again and see you definitely in the next video. Bye!